You never have to be in fear. Ever, ever, ever. Because this love that is transmitted, that is you, in you, that wants to awaken within you so that you can shine that glory of that light through so that it will help your own life, your own love, your relationships, sexuality, if that's what you choose to do. I couldn't even think about that anymore in my life because it's just, you sort of, you don't have to go beyond it. Some uh, teachers do still, I think, have sex. <laughs> but then they're not having sex anymore, they're just making light, bringing more light into the world. It affects your finances, everything. It shakes everything up, makes everything wonderful. But it does shake the world up because the world is made of molecular enlightenment. <laughs> molecular enlightenment. It's vibrating all of the time. That's why you end up, you know, um, some of you may have the experience that things will seem a little misty this morning and you'll wonder if your eyes are stinging or you know, certain things will happen because the light affects you in that way. And um, so I don't think there's anything wrong with your eyes. It's just, you know, uh, the light is so beautiful that it, it does affect you in that way. And at yourself. Because once you have this awakening beginning, you want to be able to make sure that you do everything in your power for it to become stronger and stronger, which means more and more ego, more and more identities thrown away, so that you become very, very focused and very grounded. Because, can anyone relate to this? You feel all of this love. You don't know if it's love for God or love for spirit or just the world or the sun. You know, you go through this like satori of love. Who's, who's had a satori of love? Right? And when you feel this love, that is God any sort of happiness, any sort of joy that has got nothing to do with, oh, that really moved me, that movie, you know, that rocked, or uh, I really like that ice cream, or, you know. When it's like a flower, or just, it just comes up within you, you're like, wow, I feel really good. <laughs> it's God in you. Some people don't like the word God. I don't care. I love the word God. I love the word eternity. I love the word universal consciousness. I love the word saint, holiness, whatever you want to choose to use it for. But the thing is, meditation practice, because meditation isn't a verb. It's not a thing you do. It's not an activity. Because the universe and the cosmos is always meditating. It's just that we learn, and this is what's going to be very, very important, you learn to let it meditate you. And when it meditates you, your willpower, because this energy has risen up within you, becomes divine willpower. And the things that you've found challenging to do before are now easy because you've got empowerment within you. We can't change and melt away. It's just not possible with human consciousness to melt away old habits. You know, why do you think um, NA and AA and AAs and 12-step programs are so powerful and why they've worked when psychology and everything else hasn't worked for people? Why do you think that is? Because spirit is there. Because they're not there for trade-off or I'll give you my love if you give me. They're there because they want to have an awakening. They want to be healed and transformed. So those places, the reason that happens is because they're transformed. Because spirit, the holy light, whatever you choose to call this amazing kundalini energy, this shakti, what happens is it literally melts away the old consciousness. So if you're trying to give up something or quit something or replace one habit with another good habit, and you just get so frustrated because you can't, it's because you don't have the empowerment within you to do it. You want to, hello, you want to start a book or finish a book or get a job or, or just feel like I want to exercise my body every day or I just want to be happy and not an asshole today. You know, you know I just want to be like not judgmental about every son of a bitch I see on the planet today. <laughs> I want to think my husband's nice today. <laughs> you know, whatever it is, it can't happen from sheer willpower.